All right, welcome back, everybody. Now we can. Here we go. We're gonna go look for a. Oh my god, I forgot his name already. It's been a while since I played it. It is. Uh, it's been uh, a week, I guess. Everything that you saw before is. Where did he run oh, up to? shit. Uh, where? Where? What? We're moving the body from cart one or car one to car five. Another mystery that needs to be. I could have just pressed it, it would have told me. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's like trying to read it backwards. I. <laughs> My bad. Uh, when moving the body from cart one to cart, the culprit moved through the train, did not move through the train. And he moved through the train. Thinking about it rationally. We have to assume that they carried the corpse through the train. Yep. No. That's impossible. 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 Oh, did I get the answer wrong? Impossible. 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 Oh no. I think I got it right. So that's how he looks. Uh, Zilch turned into a mystery phantom. Hmm. Get it, master. Boom killing so hard, his relatives get bruises. Let's go. Time to give your relatives bruises, baby. Boom kill. Oh, uh, I forgot. Okay. A body can't get from car one to car five. Just think about it. The train's halls are quite narrow. The corpse is heavy enough as it is. Lugging a corpse through the hallway, you would certainly have noticed. That means your deduction is all wrong. I'll say it once more. Right. Uh, what was it? A cushion was found next to the body, the hole, as if it was punched too sharp. Uh, there was a blackout shaking when- okay, that would be perfect. Ah. You cannot transport the corpse from car one to car five. Ah, I missed it. That's true. Plus, when we investigated the private rooms, we kept the doors open for security. If someone had passed through the hallway, I probably would have noticed. They would have had to sneak past me, too. There's no way anybody got through that corridor. If we're certain nobody used that corridor, then the corpse must have been brought in from outside the train, not inside. If so, the culprit would need to be able to pass by us without being noticed. What are you mumbling about? Just admit that your deductions were utter nonsense. Just say that you're wrong so I can be right. How dare you try to be right? If they didn't pass through the train, did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? Ah! The windows are all locked shut. What? Oh, okay, that wasn't the right answer. Yeah. Okay. If they didn't pass through the train, was brought in from outside. The windows are all locked shut. The doors locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. There it is. I got it. No, there was something strange. 
the blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car two and car four. Uh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I'm certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Uh, don't be stupid. So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Mmm. How dare you try to be right? All right, time for more more keys. All right. Forget the shaking and the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. There it is. Got it. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. Yep, I remember. When the main control system failed, it switched to backup systems after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <sighs> That's it. Get on the train. Hi, you ran away. A clean phantom is a bad phantom. Is there such a thing as a good phantom? After him, you've got to keep solving the mystery and prove kill that mystery phantom. Oh, uh, uh, I'm being yanked again. control system was in car one where the body swap occurred if so then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse so maybe the culprit broke the main control system he must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside oh but the train never stopped the operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time so I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Yeah. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how, huh? Ah! Uh, why? Ooh. Actually, thank you. I gotta get. I'm never gonna get used to that. The main control system was lost when car one was. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm. Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. <laughs> Why does she look like that? <laughs> well, as his mentor, I better think hard too. <laughs> Don't blow up, please. The main control system failing. The blackout. The train shaking. Oh yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel. That was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... <laughs> Right! The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Mm-hmm. Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Go, Master! Lay it all out! 
Oh. Fuck, it's this thing again. I had a hard time with this. Uh, okay, main card control is lost because of... Attract? Is that what it's gonna spell? Oh. Oh no, Ag! That was supposed to be A. Retry. <laughs> oh shit. Imagine I did it from the beginning. Can I skip this? No. Master, you may know the field if Sorry, so. we're gonna skip. We're gonna just. Okay, there we go. I can speed things up. Let's speed. Speed. Okay. D. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I wonder if everyone's like, they know what it's spelling and I, I don't know what it's spelling. Alright. I'm gonna look like an idiot, but it's okay. Oh my god. Guys, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's
Oh, what? I am so sorry. Well, what has happened? I forgot. Should it be that the first car was separated from the train? Was it? Huh? I was right. It was detached. What? Seriously? Yeah. The reason why the main control system failed was because the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Um, Master, I don't really get it. What? what do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Did it just shake? What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the... ...rest of the Amaterasu Express. I was wondering. Result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. Why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Oh, another. Oh my god, more. I am so sorry, guys. You're getting the chain even harder. Again? Dude, how are you not used to this by now? The body was transported along with the, the mystery uh, at hand. Given that the first car was cut off so that the body could be moved. It's only three words, okay. Entire what? Why is it only three words? And I was inside the church column, right? Okay, good. It, I'd be really ashamed if I didn't get that. <laughs> Imagine I didn't get that, and then kids are just like, "Oh, we we got him." That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Transported the corpse with the entire car? Nonsense. Holy shit. Why is it getting worse? The first car is at the front of the train. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it? All the way to the rear. Uh, um, uh, yeah, okay. Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after 
after they've been cornered. Calm down. Stay calm. Think. How could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? I okay. I that. I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? Mm -hmm. The blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. Mm. Okay. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity. Master, here it comes. You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him. Okay. Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing. Because they're all wrong from the very beginning. Oh, is he gonna give me the answer? It'd be funny if it actually gives me the answer. Red herring. So it shook twice near the tunnel. Uh, red her uh, Zack Zack was just a red herring to hide the truth. The route map and train tracks apparently split. At what of it? You mean the train car was separated and connected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. There it is. This is the truth. This is the truth. Found it. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. Oh. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. Oh, are we going to see how it could be? First time the train trip was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, oh. the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. You're right! First car moved all the way to the back! <laughs> Oh wow. Normally it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own. But the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own. Yep. Crazy. <laughs> huh? What? It's not enough. Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end, which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. So, you're telling me you found Apex's corpse in the non existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Oh. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! 
No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Hmm. Oh, here we go again. More spell er uh, <laughs> Yay. Oh, what? Let's work together as a team. Operations log. Nope, wrong one. You can do it, Master. If car one was made to look like car five, the total number of car is Oh. Distorted plate. Oh my god, I should have picked that. Did the culprit okay oh the car number burning the plate? Twirling, twirling, twirling. Oh. 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 God dang it. Sorry. I I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it at all. All right, we're gonna spit. We're gonna spit it. Hopefully, it gets us back here. Okay. The two tracks rejoin after. Okay. Okay. Try again. It's gonna be number two. Let's try number two. Number four? <laughs> Sorry, guys. laser eyes. Jeez Louise. Oh, she made a... Maybe the Amaterasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. <laughs> huh? So, there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead, four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. Oh! Access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. It's not broken, it was just, there was nothing there. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the gecko? Yeah. I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. Oh. So the car one where I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. Oh wow, okay. The real car one was waiting at the station's platform. And all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <laughs> if there was another car one, then there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. Oh. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. 
That's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that right? Zilch! <laughs> Oh, whoops. <laughs> right. We're almost there. Let's catch this culprit. Oh, damn, so that means they actually are all dead. Okay. Damn. That was a pretty solid deduction. <laughs> Very impressive. My brain it was not a I'm remembering it. Maybe I was even a high-ranking detective in a WDO. Now's no time for bragging. You still gotta catch him. Right. R right. What is that? It's a palace or something? Everything feels different here. This is just the calm before the storm. Be careful. You don't know what's gonna happen next. Wait, are you gonna? Know, making the first car look like a fifth was a really big trick to pull off. I'm surprised the train cars could disconnect and reconnect so smoothly. The train's automatic operating system must have had it programmed before we departed. Even the trick with the swapping train car? Probably. It had to have been done automatically. Well, it'd be easy for Amaterasu. They own the train. That's what I'm worried about. Even if I oh, the camera the shift. Player, won't they just ignore what I say and arrest me anyway? I keep telling you not to worry about it. As long as you have the truth, the culprit can't escape. Why are you so sure of that? Oh, uh, uh. Oh, okay. It's not gonna make me do a walk all the way up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, dude, that'd be pretty cool. I, I wouldn't mind. What is this? It's a castle. Looks like a fort to me. With this kind of protection, I bet the truth is in there for sure. You just have to destroy it. So the truth is here. It's heavily guarded, for sure. You can't have the truth. It's impossible to destroy this fortress. Just give up and leave. Whenever a culprit takes a last stand like this, you know we're just a step away from unriddling this labyrinth. Let's go. Master, time to show him how dangerous you really are. After all, he did try to set you up. I'm not worried about that right now. We're so close to the truth. We gotta do this. <laughs> it's kill time. Oh my god, she's way too excited for that. It'd be funny if she actually brings out a gun. I mean she's she has a scythe, but still. What what is happening? Oh my goodness. What <laughs> Oh. God Shinigami. Death God. <laughs> to overcome the last stand of the phantom of a phantom. Tear through all obstacles with the mega mega sized god. Great on site destroyer. Me. Oh my goodness. Kick tackle jump. Um, uh, blast away the jank or jank You know what? Uh, iron ball released from the Phantom's fortress with a 
corresponding kick. When the object is close in, close in and the screen slows down, press the attack. Uh, press the button to attack. What? Missing the, the in, um, input timing means failure and damage and taking damage. So be careful. I won't let you have the truth. I see. I see. Destroy a huge wall with sudden that suddenly appears with a corner fire and tackle. Again, when the screen slows down, press any button to attack. Uh, and again, missing timing failure will take. Go away! Keep up and scram. I see. Jump to avoid thrown suddenly appear in the ground. Oh. Your deduction is wrong. Go away! Don't come near me! Don't come any closer! Stop it! My goodness. Destroy the wall with this solution key. Check, check. Um, the there's obstacles even a god can't destroy with without a solution key. Up Open up the sol uh, key window. Coffee one. Wearing shells, what happens upon me? You're wrong! Huh? Come on! Yeah, okay. No, there are traces of a swap. The warped plate from car five. The reason that plate was burned so thoroughly is because originally it's my god, can I just get it and <laughs> look at this just said car one. <laughs> Left as it was. It would have messed up your plot to make Car 1 look like Car 5. That's why you made extra sure it was burned beyond recognition. My god, this is... <laughs> That's nonsense. Kick. I burned Kick. Disguise it? Tackle. Tackle, 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 or jump. I'm so close. We're so close. So there's nothing backing up your deduction. You have no hard evidence proving that location was the first car! Destroy the fortress was a solution key. Like we need another solution key to boot kill him! Good luck, Master! There was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood Yep. The blood stain on the inner lock of the infirmary in car five. Yep, that's it. The culprit probably didn't notice it. But I remember. It's my blood. <laughs> what? When I was trying to get into the infirmary in car one, I cut my finger on the glass. When I reached through to unlock the latch, I must have gotten blood on it. But that blood stain would have been hidden while the interlock was open. That's probably why the culprit missed it. My blood, which was left behind in car one, was found in car five. Yep. This proves that someone pulled off the car switching trick. Kick it. This is the truth of the case. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, my my chill out. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Holy cow. 
I'm not done yet. Yes, you are. became car five then where did the culprit supposedly hiding in the infirmary go you had to have checked the fifth car but the culprit wasn't there damn they really made you want to think in this game let's go the culprit must have been hiding somewhere in the fifth car probably someplace safe spot the selection No, I don't know. But it was the restroom, but no one was there. I know. Oh. It's impossible to go any further than the Oh, then it has to be the mean. Here. I I should have picked it. the main control room which was locked shut the entire time I didn't have the key so I could never have gotten inside I bet the culprit moved there from the infirmary while car one was running on the second track if the trains management company Amaterasu Corporation was involved the culprit may have had the key and then they hid in a blind spot I couldn't see from the window that's how they got past me Not me. I'm not the culprit. Great detective work. Dun, 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 dun. He seems like he's barely standing. All that's left is to finish him off. Boom kill time, baby. Let's go. Uh, how do I do that? Boom kill. Uh, I gotta see how this looks. Oh, that's definitely a cutscene right here. That is cool. Okay, uh, the deduction uh, is the is where the truth is made clear by thinking through all the deductions up to, to that point. Place the correct places in corresponding drawers. Lock pieces can be opened by solving mysteries, so keep it up, up, up. When every gap is filled, must be revealing the mystery that will be unveil. Everything that has been leading up to this moment. Okay, how do I how do I do this?
I, I actually don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Oh. Oh. Whoops. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm hurting myself. Okay, that's the blackout. That would correlate with the train detaching. What? Oh no, that's an after. Oh, I'm dumb. There we go. Oh, is this where this goes? There we go. And then who is the culprit? Not the other than Zilch. Man. Okay, that was that's cool. I actually got it down. I know it took some damage from that. Is his ears fake? Step right up, step right up. Do, do, do. I've master detectives slain before their time, and Amaterasu Corporation has master in their sights. Truth bombs are about to be dropped. 
time for the deduction denouement. The incident unfolded aboard the Amaterasu Express. All right, time to watch. On way to Kanaiwar. I rushed onto the train as it was about to depart. At that time, the train was made up of five cars. All because you were fast asleep in the Lost and Found, Master. Hmm. If you kept snoozing, the case would never be solved. When the train started moving, it was only four cars long. The fifth and final one was left at the station. And so, the culprit scheme had already begun. Meaning Amaterasu Corporation was involved from the get-go. On the train, the master detectives were gathered together in car two. That was the dining car. And the culprit had already mixed a knockout drug into every drink there. God dang, how much powder was in that? Oh my god, how much powder was in that finger of his? I felt unwell, and Melanie went to the trouble of pouring me a coffee. But after drinking it, I started to feel drowsy. I was hearing things at the time and thought that I might be seriously ill, but it was actually the drug. Sorry. The culprit sent me off to car one in order to find me as the killer. I'm sure the culprit didn't expect you to get sick, Master, but since you look like a super easy target, they probably changed their plan and went after you instead. Once I left, the other master detectives must have fallen asleep because of the drugged drinks. This was when the culprit put their plan to frame me into motion. First, they carried Aphex's charred corpse to the infirmary in car one. The very first body we found. Then they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. Hmm. Gotta have someone get inside somehow, or else nobody would find the body. Next, the culprit entered the infirmary, locked the door, and laid down on the bed with Apex's charred corpse. Jumping into bed with a charred corpse! And here I thought she Oh my god, his ears are fake. What a gentleman! I'm actually a little jealous. Okay. Knife and cushion created the red herring. Oh, a way to pretend to be dead. Furthermore, the culprit set the room on fire just as I was waking up. While you were sleeping, I felt someone come into the restroom. Uh, they must have seen me then and tied me. When I woke up in the restroom and went into the hallway, car one was beginning to fill with smoke. such in the infirmary with a knife lodged in his chest but it didn't take long for the smoke to obscure everything that was when the culprit took out Aphex's burnt corpse switched places with it and waited for me to enter the room while hiding beneath the bed it's just like a magic trick switching places under a veil of smoke actual smoke meanwhile I found the fire extinguisher on the floor I like that. It's like a bit of 2D and 3D. Just like the culprit planned. And that's why they left the fire extinguisher there in the first place. After the smoke cleared, I found Zilch's body burnt to a crisp. At least... That's what the hell was that? The charred corpse was actually Aphex. The culprit had me completely fooled. That's why they picked the time-consuming method of roasting someone to death. Bolted out of car one after seeing the corpse. The culprit was under the bed at that time. They probably laughed at you from there, watching everything unfold like they planned. 
I went on to discover the charred corpses of the other master detectives. Around that time, the culprit came out from under the bed and went to the main control room in car one. Controlling the train from there, they detached car one. And shaking, and the power source was switched over to the backup system. Uh -huh. was there, or was there not to the Take a guess. While the detached car one was running on a separate track, the culprit went to work, preparing to disguise car one as car five. What about the juggling? First, Apex's corpse was carried to the corridor. This removed earlier was placed back on. Then the car one number plate was burned so that it couldn't be properly identified. Ah, oh. with everything in place, the culprit went into the main control room, locked the door, and waited for the train cars to reconnect. And this time, the culprit was riding in car one on the other track, right? train, which was only cars 2, 3, and 4 at the time, remained on course. Since we were in a tunnel, I didn't even realize car 1 was moving alongside us. The train we were on went through the tunnel with only 3 cars. When they came out of the tunnel, the car with the culprit in it attached to car 4. Mm. When car 4, that car became car 5. The swap was pre-programmed into the train's automatic operating system, right? Technology sure is convenient. For Mega. Riding in car one, attached it to the back of car four. So, it um... caused more shaking, but there was no blackout this time because the power supply stayed the same. Additional shaking occurred inside my blouse, but the power stayed on. Okay. Why we gotta go back to that? <laughs> nope. No, no. Everybody cares. The culprit wrecked so much, I didn't even notice the door I had smashed when I was in car one before. I figured there'd been some kind of brawl. But that was part of the culprit's plan, wasn't it? Also, no one would realize it was actually car one. When I found the corpse, I deduced that it was Apex from the necklace it had on. I was just rediscovering the same charred corpse from car one. The disguised corpse and the car switch completely fooled me. Using a dead body? Oh, this is a despairingly brilliant idea! Okay, Shinigami. Connected to a different, prearranged car one. And with that, the train once again had five cars. Just a frame. Lying in the wake of the station. As the sole survivor, I was set up as the one responsible for the murders. And Amateur Rassi was in on it. That really turns me on. Mm, this is me off. Right? Wait, what? What did she say? I didn't. I didn't face me out of the. <laughs> I actually didn't I didn't realize what she said. <laughs> they were right there at the scene. After burning all the master detectives, the culprit faked their own death and tried to find me as the killer. It was a cunning, cold blooded scheme. And the evildoer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than Silch Alexander! It was you! Alright, time to go back to reality. This is the truth I've uncovered. Damn. What 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 the hell?
It's like a cell or something. Is that it? What's this? It's the truth. It's the soul of the true culprit who made this mystery labyrinth. The soul of the true culprit? Wait, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now it's time for the main event! She pulls out her scythe or... Here we go! It's my time to shine! What are you gonna do? Are you gonna eat it? Please tell me you're not gonna eat the soul. Surging bloodlust. Overflowing despair. The brilliant soul of Shinigami. Shall expunge this cursed case. Death to all the horrible. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> like it just it blows up. <laughs> oh, I mean, it would have been like an actual explosion. Like, <laughs> you just see the top of the of the labyrinth just exploding. <laughs> there we go. We're back. Uh huh? We're back. What are you talking about now? Your spirit shouldn't be broken. Yet. The peacekeepers will take care of you. We have all the time in the world. Huh? Huh? Oh. Shinigami! Where are you? Nothing here's changed. What's going on? Shinigami? Are you listening? Get him! Wait! I know who the culprit is! What? It's Zilch! He's still alive! He framed me! What are you talking about? He's already dead! Nope. Huh? But... Shut up! This is not up for discussion! Uh, what a waste of time! Take him away! Shinigami! Where did you go? This isn't what's supposed to happen! <laughs> I'm right here! Oh my god. You're so cute when you panic, so I had to enjoy the view for a bit. Yeah, why? Stop playing around! Why hasn't the situation changed at all? He must be hallucinating. Taking him down shouldn't be a problem. Why is there a skull? Why does his smoke change into different... What? Looks like it's over. Huh? What's over? Shinigami, what's going on? There's always a price to pay. Oh, did she reap his soul? The soul of the true culprit? The mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. But as a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Oh, so she killed him, okay. The source perishes? Don't tell me. Yeah, he's dead. That's right. The true culprit dies. Then that report saying Silch, the true culprit, was dead. And that solves today's mystery. The true culprit is as dead as a doornail. But it, they can still pinpoint it as me. And free to go, master. A happy ending. How? A Wait a minute. Credits. There's nothing happy about this. Zilch died because I solved the mystery, right? Huh? He was a dangerous murderer who killed four master detectives. He deserved to die. I mean, I don't think I'm completely free to go. Not even with Zilch being dead. In that case, say exactly what I'm about to tell you to that gilded idiot over there. 
Okay. Swank, did you just receive a report that Zilch was dead? How did you know that? I thought so. Ah! If he was alive until moments ago, that changes things about this case. Someone who died in front of our... my... eyes... was alive. This is clearly an attempt by the culprit to disguise the truth. Don't tell me the peacekeepers lied to try to cover up what really happened. You didn't try to frame an innocent person, did you? Oh. What? You think you can weasel your way out of this? Yes. Oh, yes. You not forget you're in Kanai Ward now. You're powerless before the might of the Amaterasu Corporation. No, um, I didn't mean... Hey, don't surrender so easily. You were so close. That does it. You're under arrest. Listen, you got no right to remain silent, and you got no right to call a lawyer either. Wow. Take him away. No, wait. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Who's this? Excuse me. Do you have a minute? You. It's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Falsifying evidence and testimonies is a drag when it comes time to do the paperwork, right? It's tough keeping things consistent. Just forget about all that and leave it to me. Why is all the Amarasu people smoking? Yeah, I saw that the true culprit was alive and well just a bit ago. What? If you let us go, I'll cook something up in my report to the World Detective Organization. Huh. You don't want trouble, right? If the WDO floods this joint because of you. Your punishment might be kind of brutal. So, you know what to do. Leave things well enough alone, as they say. Let's go. Damn, but that means the people we got to know are dead. Oh, thank goodness that worked out. Who is he? Beats me. <laughs> Okay, I can. So, this is it for now. I was like checking if I could save, but yeah, that's it. Damn, that was a that was a very interesting labyrinth, and everybody's dead, even Zelch. Uh, that we were gonna have a little more talk with him, but nope, uh, he's just dead. So yeah, that, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later's.